All right, jumping back into Final Fantasy 13. So we last left off in Nautilus Park. Uh, we are under fire from uh, Psycom. They are they are on the hunt for us. Uh, Sauce has decided to give himself up, I suppose. Um, and then we can also let's just go over to the events. This kind of says everything that happened since our last uh, experience in Cocoon. Here comes the cavalry. Colonel Roche, director of PSYCOM, explains the necessity of his actions to the Lassie, declaring that the Sanctums and the Falsies' decision to order the purge was anything but arbitrary. Had they not initiated such measures, he contends and ignores... Uh, oh, if they had not initiated such measures, he contends and ignored the cries of the people. Cocoon's panic society would have torn itself apart. If Roche speaks the truth, then the Lassie's enemy is not the government but millions of Cocoon civilians. Yet even if this is so, they must somehow find a way to survive. Overcoming his desire for revenge, Hope sets out in search of a new goal. Somewhere beyond the maelstrom of hatred and the grasping will of the foul sea is the future they search for. Hope bids farewell to his father and boards the cavalry airship. Elsewhere, Saz and Vanille are still on the run. The two fugitives wander aimlessly, riding the currents of fate to the doorstep of the City of Dreams. The City of Dreams, Nautilus, the City of Dreams, the biggest theme park on Cocoon, is crowded with tourists. If Saz and Vanille can lose themselves in this crush of people, the army will never find them. Even so, Saz finds it's hard to feel, re feel relieved. His son Dodge has been made into a Lassie after wandering into an incident at Urid Gorge. But unlike his father, he is now a servant of a Sanctum Falci and an enemy of Pulse. As he is locked away under the watchful eye of Psycom, Saz has no way of knowing how his son is doing. If Dodge's focus was to destroy the Pulse Falci in the boat and vestige, then he should already have turned into Crystal. But what if his focus was to kill the Pulse Lassie? Saz and his companions would have to die to save Dodge from becoming a Seath, and one other thing is gnawing at his mind. After telling Vanille about his son's situation, the ever cheerful girl has completely lost her spark. Making the most of it. A news flash is broadcast throughout Nautilus. During the scenes of combat shown from Palin Poem, Vanille catches a glimpse of Fang. Although it's the first she's seen of her friends since they were separated at Yurid Gorge, Vanille finds it hard to give in to her joy, not after what Saz has said about his son. Dodge is now a Sanctum Lassie, a sworn enemy of his father, and she is directly responsible. If Fang and Vanille hadn't attacked the Falci at the energy plant, the creature would never have chosen the nearby Dodge as a Lassie. The young woman is overwhelmed by guilt. Ignorant of Vanille's involvement, Saz attempts to cheer her up, but his misplaced kindness only makes her feel worse. The parade is about to begin. For now, she will lose herself in its dream, knowing that when it is over, the suffering she has been running from will finally catch up with her. Oh, jeez. Eidolons on Parade. The Pompa Sancta Parade is a spectacle of light and sound that commemorates the war between Cocoon and Pulse. An embodiment of evil, the Pulse Lassie appear with plans for the total destruction of Cocoon. Hard pressed by a Sanctum Lassie, the lower world servant takes the form of an infernal beast, a shape meant to resemble the monstrous Ragnarok. The final battle ensues, and the Pulse Lassie is defeated. It can almost be a foreshadowing of how events may truly unfold. While other onlookers are transported by a dream of the past, Vanille is yanked into the present by a nightmarish vision of the future. The two will see hurry away in the direction of Nautilus Park. No place left to run. Tired of fleeing with no hope in sight, Saz quietly says his goodbyes to Vanille. He intends to give himself up to the army and beg Psycom to let him talk to his son. Even if it ends in his execution, it will all be worth it if he can see Dodge one more time and tell him about his encounter with the Nautilus Park Chocobos. Not willing to let Saz just give up and die, Vanille tries to talk him out of it. Revenge is her best bet. If she reveals the identity of the culprit behind the Yuri Gorge incident that sealed the fate of both father and son, then maybe Saz will have something to live for. The culprit, of course, is Vanille herself. But how to explain? As the young woman searches for the right words, sniper bullets bite into the ground around them. Saz covers Vanille as they run for the exit. It's all fine if he gets captured by the army, but he has to help Vanille escape. And that is where we left off. What a time. 
We could backtrack. We could fight a little bit. Uh, really not necessary. Have we done the Crystarium stuff? Ooh, we have a, a bit more to do. Unlucky. Yeah, we simply cannot go down that easy. Nerve gas. I don't like this at all. Let's go medic. I think uh, Asuna is going to be pretty required here. I think being permanently poisoned, not a uh, not a great plan. this for sure, right? Probably don't have it in one stagger, but hopefully we can do a good amount of damage. Release armor strengths. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe we actually send her to Saboteur. Maybe we get, maybe we get spicy. Oh, we tried to poison him. That's cute. He poisoned us. We poison them, right? It's only fair. Truly. I would like if Saz would cast uh, Faith on himself. Uh, he is going to die. He has got 42 HP. I appreciate it. Don't stop us. Gonna have to get a little bit more heals. We're at 400. I think we just go for the uh, Ravager. I mean, surely we can do a lot of damage. We got Faith on. The, the crazy thing is there's like a world where we die, for sure. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I worry more about healing, to be honest. Like, I feel like this this enemy has done just like great massive dam damage. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like it just chills and then it does like five, 600 damage. And Saw's at 400 HP, not the... Uh, not the hottest number to be at. I appreciate it. This is gonna stay. Yeah, I will say we're really close to our grinding spot. Not sure how that's gonna work. Yeah, I'm not really sure where it is. I've got a rough idea, but uh, it's in chapter nine. I think we're almost done with chapter eight. If if all the other chapters are like this one, we're almost done. But I, I really don't know. We'll, we'll find out together. So I'll probably spend a few hours grinding. Um, I'm gonna try to make that like its own video. You know, it's gonna be like, oh, by the way, I'm grinding today, and it's, it, I'm not gonna do any story stuff to so do it on this out. It's just gonna be like I'm I'm fighting enemies forever. I think it's worth it, um, and I always hate doing, I don't know, I hate doing like story stuff and then doing grinding because I feel like it's, uh, it's better like sequestered alone, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh, I want to see what you think about the story and stuff, and it's like, it's less, I want to see what you feel about killing soldier number 4,502, you know, like it's, there's more value in, in the experience of the story than there is just, you know, grinding through enemies.
And, and to be honest, it's, it's probably not strictly necessary that I grind. Um, there's probably a good argument that I'm being stupid in doing so. Because um, there's a better area than Chapter 9. I think it's 11. Um, where we can grind, but I don't know. I think... I, I, I feel like this is a good place to start. Yeah, I've tried not to I've tried not to look up too many things. But um the grinding was one thing I looked up like, alright, where's where's this? And specifically what we're grinding. I guess that's the important thing to talk about too. Uh we're grinding um money. Essentially. Money and components and stuff. So I don't care about the Crystarium points, I only care about money. Because I wanna be able to upgrade weapons. I mean not to get crazy, I kinda wanna upgrade every weapon to its max, but I don't know how much that'll pay. It could it could take a bit of a bit of dollars, to say the least. We got this for sure. Got him. I don't know if that was a five star performance. It was a zero star performance. Oh come on, that's embarrassing. Oh no. Daddy, got you. Dodge, why are you here? Because you promised. Uh, is this actually his son? But how did you get here? Wait, no. What? He's a crystal now? No, it's an illusion. Is it an illusion? He doesn't look anything like Sarah. I guess every crystal's different. Dodge fulfilled it admirably and served Cocoon in the process. You should be proud of him. Mr. Cat's right. Dodge was a great help. He could sense power of Paul's origin. That led us knowledgeably. Words can't express our gratitude. The data he provided our enemy the sea was invaluable. And speaking of gratitude. Oh. We enhanced the surveillance footage from the energy Anything plant. Come back? Those are the pulseless sea behind what happened. They zoomed the and enhanced. But I'm sure you recognize those bastards. You've spent so much time together. Even matter. What's it matter? You want to be a monster? I just uh... keep your chin up. We know the path that matters. What? We are enemies of Cocoon. Know what I say? Play the part and raise some hell. Might jumpstart our memories. What? <laughs> the foul sea. Let's smash it. He's going to kill her. Yes, that young lady's terrorist assault at Yuridae Gorge is the reason Dodge was made in the sea. Ironic, 
isn't it? The very girl you're protecting is the one who stole your son. Neil's running again. Shall we finish the job? Or would you prefer to? <sighs> Colonel Levant? What now? Follow them and observe. How often do you see the kill their own? I don't like this lady. Oh, I gotta do it? By my hand? That's lame. I, gotta, I, I like how they said follow and observe and I just leave. Missing anything here? Nope. So everything is as expected. Let's go forward. Let's kill Vanille. Let's take her out. I don't like when it cuts seem to walk like that. Because now I gotta be paranoid. Are there treasures over here that I missed? Because that's what they sometimes do. They'll like cut scene a walk. And then it'll skip past like treasures that are actually valuable. It doesn't do it every time. But a lot of games play like that. It's really annoying. I mean I assume it's intentional. I feel like it's always nice if they do the cutscene walk. To not put anything that you'll miss. But then in my paranoia I've gotta be like. I gotta check. Is there a treasure I'm gonna not claim by, you know, continuing forward. Why did I even try to run? What was waiting wasn't something I could change. You are cold-blooded. <laughs> Lying so people would trust you. Using them as shields. How many you gotta drag down with you? I'm a coward and a killer. The people you use don't get to live. Why should you? <laughs> Tired of living with guilt? Then die with it. Oh no. My name is Erba de Vanille. I'm a lassie from Grand Pulse. And to everyone on Cocoon, evil. Shoot me for your son. Don't you even! You think you die? And that's that? You think you die and everything will be sugar and rainbows? This game's so good. Store wise, is sick. What do you want from me? If I can't live or die, what do you want me to do? Don't ask me. You figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. She's not gonna kill her. It's over. 
There's nothing to do. Shooting you won't help. That's the first time I've heard them say their names. Is it Erba Dia Vanil? Honestly, I wouldn't mind if we just got this summon in a cutscene, as opposed to a fight. I don't mind the fight, but like, whatever tells the story better. Oh, it's a fight. I see it. I see how they're lining up. Dagger there. Surely we did. Yep, surely we did. Honestly, a decent amount actually looking at the numbers. You asked for it. Looks like uh, magic might be the most effective thing. It's really getting the, uh, the numbers up. Might not be in luck to uh, get a uh, stagger per se. I feel good about this. Even with only 500 left, I think we got this. Maybe. I don't know. Vanille's actually getting rolled. Uh, I might be GG here, actually. I might have completely lied to you all, saying we had this. It's gonna be a little, a little bit less uh, intense when we, when we die and do a cutscene again. I'm just hoping that I get it. So I'm just like mashing X, because once we finish the kill, the just call it should be fine, and we're close. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's like skin of our teeth. It is, skin of our teeth. Wow. That was crazy. Like a hundred points left on that timer? Something like that? That's right. Let's do it. Yo, he's in a race car. Hot wheels. Let's go. Bryn Hielder. So I was getting an ATB gauge, sure. That was kind of crazy. He 
he's not gonna shoot her. Not for that. He's not gonna shoot her, right? Yeah, I can't even imagine how Vanille can be excused. feels. Shooting kids. Anyone. Oh. Baby Chocobo approves. Kindness like his. You don't forget. Yeah, it's such a... Oh, dude. No. I saw that shadow. Enough. Is enough. What? No way. I just got a summon. I know he lives. <laughs> Imagine the troll. You get a summon, kill the character. Uh, <laughs> can't even use him. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he is dead. Like Neil gets purged again. Do be careful with those. There's a perfect tool. Dude, she seems kind of psycho. She seems kind of like I will use anyone. People are just tools. Kind of mindset. Everything would go back. Back to the way it was before. Sugar and rainbows. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think it's been sugar and rainbows so far. I feel quite the opposite. There she is. The Palamecia, pride of the Sanctum Skyfleet. This mighty flagship currently serves as a prison for the Lacy apprehended in Nautilus. Execution as the climax. The people will cheer their demise, and Falsy Dominion will be undisputed. All part of the plan. Yes, but it also presents an opportunity. In a display of unwavering dedication to duty, the Primarch himself has boarded the Palamecia and focused his personal attention on resolving the Pulse Crisis. They're baiting us. Trying to draw us out. Bait, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here are your friends. Come and get them. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that action. All in. Alrighty. That's are on the table. We leave when you're ready. I'll be standing by. Took the fight to the enemy's door. Instrument of wrath. That's what we win. Interesting. So this is where it gets tricky. I believe. Yep, chapter 9. Um, there's supposed to be a grinding spot, but I don't know where it is. I assume it's not here amongst all my allies. Psycom fleet has us under surveillance. While they're busy watching the wind blow, you slip aboard the Palamecia. Sure. So it sounds like it's on the Palamecia. 
Our brigade will launch an all-out assault to back you up. Okay. I don't mind the sound of that. We will die for us too. The sanctum's going down. That is true. I would even argue they're risking more. Because they're I mean, not to be mean, they've got lives. Like we're let's see. Like we're our lives have already been taken from us. It's this or nothing. So to to jump to them and and say, you know, like, oh, like, you know, you're not risking anything would be more than us. It would be unreasonable for us to say that. You gotta play it smart this time. I'm charging in without a plan. <laughs> Listen to me talking strategy. That's all right. Another cavalry unit rescued him and moved him somewhere safe. I kind of wish I could talk to him. But I guess I have to make my own choices now. It's fair. I'm glad he patched things up with his father. That is really good. Ready to roll out. It's Fang. Come on, let's get this show on the road. I finally found the new And I'll be damned if I'm just gonna stand around while she's in trouble. That's fair. I was gonna say Fang probably has the most reason to push forward. No, I do not. I guess there really isn't much for us to do here then. I thought there might be, but let's go in. Oh, I know there's no turning back. I don't I don't intend to. This baby back here is a Psycom vessel. It'll deliver you to the Palamecia. Oh, we're cargo now? A parting gift to our rotting government. Take those Psycom guys apart. And we're supposed to take on all of them? I think the whole division's on board. I don't care how many lackeys they've got. Bring them on. Vanille's in there. I'm sure she's fine. Vanille's tougher than I could ever be. Hope, are you scared? Of course. Yeah, I'm terrified. But I'll be okay. Be insane if you said no. Because I have you, and this guy, and Fang. We're all in this mess. We gotta stick together. <laughs> right. Enough with the bonding. It's go time. <laughs> what do you mean, this guy? <laughs> You know what would have been cool in this game? A chapter replay. Like, to be able to, like, beat the game and then say replay from this chapter with your current character. That would have been actually kind of sick. We expect to see you here in person, your eminence. This crisis threatens the entirety of Cocoon, my child. You agree that standing at the fore is a leader's charge? Wholeheartedly. It also affords a splendid view of the impending execution. Yeah, what a nice guy. What's the hold up? Stand by. Verifying identification code. You let me land this bird or I'll crash her into your ass. <sighs> code verified. You're free to dock. Palamessia, Sanctum, Skyfleet. Vanille 
and Saz. Stay focused. I don't have any uh, double commando ravager set up. That's what I was hoping for. It's fine though. Who needs it? Mana drive Cura. Yeah, they gotta call it mana drive because if these soldiers are using magic, they're with C. Which maybe they are. I don't remember if we face it, but like, I imagine there could definitely be an enemy that's like Sanctum with C or something. You know what I mean? Like some sort of like setup that, you know, the foul C made with C to help defend against themselves, you know? That sounds like, that, that kind of seems like a final boss thing, but I imagine it could be. It kind of seems silly they don't make more with C. It feels like that'd be considered an honor. And if your focus is to like defend Cocoon or whatever, uh, credit chip, nice. Uh, then I mean that never really stops. So it's not like you're gonna crystallize. Looks like they want to play. No kidding. So where to? <laughs> right up there. Let's go forward. I think this might be the grinding spot. We're gonna, but we're gonna see. Nothing I can't handle. I think the, I think the grind is you get credit chips. I think. should adjust our uh, paradigm so we get like a commando commando um, medic we'll do that after this fight nice that wasn't so bad it wasn't that was pretty good incentive chip now if I like Oh shoot, we're going up. We're, we're moving. I didn't even mean to. We're just doing it. What if I jump back down? Is that like a real thing I can do? Nope. I am... I am been... I've been relegated to go forward, I guess. Okay, well, let's go forward. Maybe there's not so much grinding. Or not as much grinding as I expected. I hope there's some. map so much I'm like where am I what am I doing well 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 four digital circuits let's go oh, is that it or is there more to this area something bad's waiting for us surely of course there is. There's always something powerful waiting for us. It's certainly never something good. Getting blown away now. 
All right, a big part of this for me is figuring out like what we can grind and what we can't. So let's let's do that testing. We're gonna, we're we're not gonna do it this video, but it'd be cool to know if we can. I just realized I totally forgot to do the paradigm stuff. Deck drone. All of our grinding depends on what they drop. We really need need them to drop like credit chips and stuff, stuff that sells for good money. There will be better grind spots in the future, but this just feels like a good thing to do right now. I will say as well, um, these fights will get so much quicker as we level up too, because we'll just be... We'll just be too strong. Like, we'll just hammer through everything. No spoils is not good. I need something I need something to drop pretty much every time, in my opinion. Can I figure out where I am? Hmm. I was hoping to get jump on him. What a shame. You know what to do. I will say the fact that we have lightning is kind of nice because she has that summon. We could always use that if we need to. We can also just use quake. We can use a few things here. burst can we get a stagger before then love it fang is low but i think we can do enough damage to kill him nice silicone oil let's go You do a bit of a uh, bit of crystarium increases. Ooh, you get strength plus twelve. That's very fun. Hitting for massive damage always a good time. Oh, this is actually one of the few areas we have four characters. I bet you we could like swap them out and everything. I'm sure that's a thing. Be interesting. Oh wow, Snow has a bunch of uh, Crystarian points. 15k. Significantly more than everyone else. Who would have thought? Oh, he's so close. So close to the roll level. Unfortunate for him, he cannot claim it. Yeah, I'm just feeling like this isn't it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like the grind here, if it even is one. Yeah, I can imagine. Look at this. Yeah, nothing could survive a fall from up here. Obviously. Alright, let's get crazy. By that I mean... Huh? 
let's quake. Now that's some damage. There's just so many enemies, it feels like the right play. Arguably, we could just quake back and forth, back and forth, and it'd probably be just as good. I don't know what else I'm gonna use my technique points for. Tornado kick. Okay. I mean, Fang is low, but I don't really mind that too much. It's annoying, but not like crazy. Oh, it's not like a crazy problem. Oh, I'm surprised she's alive. Wow. On today's episode of Fang Shouldn't Be Alive, somehow she is. Nice. Digital circuit, silicone, silicone oil. Nice. Silicone oil. That's, that's surely what Maybe it means. It. I missing anything? Does not appear so. Not quite a ladder, but it'll do. I got an enemy? Come on, buddy. Come on over here. I got a gift for you. I don't really have any switches I would love to make. Three incentive trips. Love it. Maybe this place does make sense to grind. I'm gonna check something here. Because the incentive chips, I think, sell for like Big Bang. I think. Okay, uh, Lightning's gonna die. We shouldn't let that happen. That would be so awkward. Alright, she should be fine. Credit chip. Okay. But then what if I go backwards and I drop down? Does that mean anything? Can I? I can't. Okay. See now we're now we're in like the testing phases. Like how far forward can I go and how far back do I have to go to get new enemies? Oh, did I surprise him? Well, that's sick. We're gonna quake immediately. Oh, messed up. We did pretty good. And uh, the other deck drones still staggered. Oh, we got this in the bag. Easy peasy. Come on. There was 
just getting started. lot of damage very early on. I think we just we quake it up. I don't know if that's a hot take, but I think we just double quake and see, you know, all the all the Quaker oats. I don't know why I'm targeting weird people. Like I I feel like we should all target the same person, but I it feels like my selection is just a random person in the list. Which I don't love. Definitely should uh, medic now. I I'm playing it so risky. Yeah, Vanille's dead. Or Feng's dead. Vanille could be dead too, actually. We don't know. Uh, she could also be dead. <laughs> Do I res her? I probably should. I'm definitely like commando and medic is not like the best build right now. Uh, I need more damage output, in my opinion. We get like zero stars for this one here. Surely, we're 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 almost got them down. I, I just want to kill more enemies because if I get more enemies down, I have less pressure. You know what I mean? Like, having two deck drones and a soldier hitting me, not my idea of a good time. Uh, if I get one deck drone, maybe that's fine. I'd rather just have the soldier alone. That's really what I want to build into. I think we'll get there. Probably being a little bit overcautious. Uh, let's actually just go through it. Psycom Dragoon. We got this, dude. So easy. He is cooked. Come on. Unfortunately, we're double Rav. So it's going to be really hard to stagger him. Like, pretty much impossible, actually. But we can do damage, which is, you know, just as good if we kill him. Hope is dead. It's about to be a lightning-only show. Oh, nope, he's, he lives. That's gotta be like a one star. I was gonna say, that was really bad. So this is where I, I just want like a, an area for me to like reload. You know what I mean? Is there, crazy thought, is there, if I quit the game, does that make sense? Like, if I, if I kill everyone and then save somewhere and then quit the game and reload, like, like if there's a save over here and a save down there, can I like basically cheese out enemy respawns? Maybe? I really don't know. It really depends on if I can backtrack after going up here. Because the idea of walking all the way back down feels like a lot of wasted time. You know what I mean? A lot of time waiting to fight something. I just want like go, 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 combat, combat, combat to maximize my actual grinding that I want to do here. The real reason I chose this area is because they, they had mentioned um, money you can get. And I think it's all from the chips, right? Selling incentive chips and credit chips and we can just get so much money. The silicone oil, I'm not super in love with. I mean, it's fine. I just don't know how useful it is. If it's not useful, then, like, what are we doing? Is this dude gonna chase me? Come at me, buddy. Oh, wait, did we surprise him somehow? Insane. Do we have Quake? I don't think we do. Oh my gosh, we do. 
Dude, I love that. I love the ability to do so much damage for staggers. Like, it's. It just feels so nuts. I don't know if it makes too much of a difference, but I feel pretty good about it. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm actually. I'm dead here, aren't I? Well, you know what I think? I think we got a lot done in those moments. I won't look back at those and say we uh, did nothing. Perfect. This has got to be a five star. We did so much so early. Quake and all star tech over, right over here, for sure. Nice. You know what? If this is how the grind works, I don't like it. Uh, because I, I need to go f way too far back, I think, to, to get at it. If they're even over there, I can't tell. Let's go forward and see what we get. I could miss this grind spot and not get another one, but I think it's worth it. He's alive? Is enough. Wait, no, that's a flashback. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, bro, it's like a bullet to the head. Oh, he's alive. Okay. Why can't I do it? No reason to keep living. I can't even kill you. should be proud. Your son's a hero. The boy who saved Cocoon. We'll erect a memorial in Eden and put his crystal on display. A memorial? He's a little boy! As the son of a pulseless sea, he would have lived in shame and misery. Isn't it better he be treated with reverence as a monument to sacrifice? The next time your eyes open will be the last. Yeah, what a jerk. Was it like? 
I mean, how did it happen? You, you were done with your focus, right? I was chosen. I was made into a Lassie to fight against Cocoon. It happened back on Grand Pulse, hundreds of years ago. We finished our focus, and we fell into a long crystal sleep. Day one, Bodum, the Pulse Falci. Neil does remember. Said I'd lost my memory. I wanted to escape my fate as a Lassie. There's no escape in that. And ever since then, I've been running away from it. Let us through. Block our way. You die. You trying to get him angry? I thought maybe they'd run. There's been enough oh. months, but... You thought they'd run? Let me refresh your memory. Those soldiers think they're protecting Cagoon from the sea. The Falci have them all brainwashed. Falci? I have had it. We cannot let this go on. Attention all crew. Code green. Repeat. Code green. Security forces stand by. Hostile forces on board. Code green. Like code green sounds like a good thing. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll have to probably find the grinding spot later. We are gonna call it for today. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, gonna be playing more Final Fantasy 13.